What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going to another Mars photo. In my opinion, guys, this looks like mechanical parts that are encrusted, and of course, they're being censored. You guys can be the judge as always. Let me show you the one I'm talking about. We're going to go to this pan. And this is by Keith Laney. He does a fantastic job. He tries to go for uh, the EDR raw DAT files. And you can see it right here. He says, uh, this is part of Murray Buttes. Um, let me just go ahead and make it just a little bigger. Uh, this is a result of carefully applying the state-of-the-art AI imaging enhancement to the task of processing the Curiosity Mass Cam EDR raw DAT files from the PDS. It's remarkable. And I got to say, I've done this photo before, but it doesn't look like this. Let me just go ahead and make this full screen. Let me back out of this. Do this. Make this full screen for you guys. Now, this one's cool. We're not going to go over the whole thing. There's only one area that I'm going to go over. And just that alone is just pretty cool in itself. Okay. Like, we got these parts right here. Things coming off here. Well, it looks like some kind of opening in this in this hillside. Even the smallest things, guys. Like, right here. Right? What What is that? Is that nothing more than a crack in a rock? Or is it something else coming from this area and back into this so-called rock? I don't think these are rocks. If they are, that's fine too. This looks like some kind of layering, of course, layering a rock. And it looks like we got some kind of, like a capstone, kind of like they had in Egyptian times, where they had this kind of shell or covering over the actual blocks. You guys will get this pan. You can check it over. It's absolutely awesome to check out. Where we're going to look at is on the other side here. And this is cool. Now, this is funny here. This, is, this blows my mind every time. Let me guess. They got screened over to keep the big bugs out. No, guys, this is a centering. This is something that went faulty on the photo. Whatever it may be, doesn't really matter. But what we're going to look at is this area right here, right? And this over here. Now, folks, we don't have to do a whole lot to this photo to begin with. Check this out. This whole area right here looks like an opening or with something else with mechanical parts inside. Have a look at this. This is cool. Just look at some of these weird looking rocks right just the shape of them going like this here will look like different like almost like rod type features this over here okay this right here look at the little pieces inside this whatever this object is what are those it's it's kind of like really wild looking features for rocks right this over here now what is this yellowish looking object sitting right here all right, and look at the features in here. Look at this piece right here. Each of them, there's a section. It looks like it's sectioned off. It goes one, two, three, four, and you can see it goes straight apart on the bottom. Of it, right? What are we looking at here, guys? Now let's jump immediately right into the Photoshop. We're gonna zoom right into that. And guys, check this out. What I mean, look at this. To me, this is without a doubt. This whole section right here is some kind of mechanical parts just by looking like this here. Okay. It looks like some kind of straight piece. We have this piece here sticking up. Let me get it right in the middle of the screen here for you. It's either going into this other piece here, coming down, going like this, and look at the parts coming down from it. These rocks on Mars are very intricate, or these are not rocks at all. We can see these things in here that clearly do not look just natural, right? And like I said, I'm going to go right to the full enhancement in a second. Just want to get up nice and close to you guys. Here. And the objects that are like blended in, like right here. Look at the lines in here, not so much the colors. They try to take the darker lines and details out. Therefore, everything kind of blends and meshes in. All right, let's go to full enhancement, and we're going to cover each area. Bring everything down, get rid of the pukey color. Check this out. Again, I'm looking at it from this angle right here. On the left hand, upper left. It looks like something was here. Like something might have been over this pot right here, but look at this. This opening right here goes across. What's in between here puzzles me. All of this area right in here. All of this. Like I said, it's way too intricate and tiny details to be natural. See that? Now, 
Let's drop down to this other piece. Look at these objects right here. Okay. Again, what are these little intricate pieces? This looks like it comes out and it drops back down. These other little small pieces here. See that? Over on this side. Look at this area right here. Oh, and if you guys notice, check out right here. I'm going to put an arrow right in this blur area. Guess what? This, whatever this thing is, goes like this. And you can see it actually continues on into this blurry area. But look at the little intricate details in this. Like this here. Looks like one, two, three. See that? Well, it's actually one, two, and then after the edge right there. Look at this small piece in here. Something that looks like it's doing this. Now, folks, we can go over to this rock here. Check this out. Let me just back up just a little bit. The details in this rock is cool because when I look at this here, I don't just see just a smooth rock. And rocks don't need to be smooth. We already know that, right? But it's just a little pieces in here. That tell me, again, either the stuff was encrusted, and of course it's been censored, or like I said, Mars just happens to have some really funky, very detailed rocks, right? Let's bounce a little to the right. Check this out. Right there. What is going on here? Look at the shapes that are in this area alone. Let's go ahead and bring it up. And now, I'm going to go back to the original. They're still there. Look at the shapes. In fact, I'll shop it up a little bit for you guys. Yeah, bring it down just a hair bit. They're there. They're absolutely there. See it? Jockey back and forth. The lines are there. Same thing with everything on this side. Try to bring the brightness down. We can even clear this up a little bit. Anything that was a brighter color, try to bring it a little bit more. Try to bring up more detail. Shopping it up a little bit. Of course, you can see right here on this side. It's really because it's really white. I'm trying to bring it down. You can see what happens. It gets that weird distortion. I see mechanical parts. Everything inside here. All right. I just noticed this now, guys. Do you guys see this disc? Check this out. Very faintly, it looks like it's doing this. I don't know if that's completely round or it looked like some kind of weird diamond thing. It looked like it was doing this. Guys, see that? Almost looks like it has this weird disc. That is just pretty neat. I, I didn't see that up until just now. Yeah. Never know what you're going to find. Every time you look at these photos, you'll, you'll see something, go back to it, and see something else additionally, which is pretty cool. This area here. Yeah, I, I don't believe this for a moment is, is natural. I don't believe this right here. Well, it looks like it does this, goes up, comes like this, goes back down. And then we get something that looks like it almost does the opposite here. All right? Yeah. Let's go in full enhancement. Check this out. Get rid of some of the crap. See this right here on the right hand and left hand side a little bit? Of this object, it's basically blur. Get rid of the blur. Look at it. They literally try to take this thing right out. All right? Again, I was talking about this area right here. Looks like it's going straight across. Now take a look at the actual features of this area. Looks like it does this. Looks like there's another one right here. There's another one right here. And at least has a line in between. But what does that in nature? This object right down here. Looks to be like rectangular of some sort. Almost looks like it has this dock area right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. This one right here. Guys, there's way too much stuff in here to be natural. It's okay to see maybe something circular. It, it might be just a rounded rock. Who cares, right, at that point? Who gives a darn? But when you see things that have many shapes and it look like they're connecting, they're, they're put together, they're accommodating each other, or whatever it may be, clearly this is not natural. Now, you can have a rock that wears next to another and they kind of like, you know, wear into each other and they kind of have that kind of weird effect. I get that, but not like this. If, just in this area alone, this small area... Look at the lines and the stuff that is like together. These objects that don't look natural at all. 
How about this area right here? I'm going to show you the, the original one first. Okay. Right here, there's one. But I don't think I got that particular one earlier. There's one right here, two, three. And you can see what looks like this half round piece here. It almost looks like you can see a piece like this here, right? They're there. Let me just move out just a little bit. Okay. All I do is highlight them so you can see them. But they're there. This is the original. They're right there. Just brought them out a little bit more. That's all we did. This area right here. You can see the little features come out of that. What are these objects, guys? I, for one, do not believe any of this is natural. Even if it is resting on rocks or part of an opening. Anybody who thinks this is real? Come on. Look at this. Who paintbrushed that? I mean, look at this. That doesn't even look natural. People go, well, it's in the shade, so it's going to look like that. No. Folks, we're being lied to on a scale that is just unreal. And I think we all know that. That's not even a secret anymore. But look at this trash. Come on now. How, how does this look natural to anybody? I could take pictures of a muddy area and it doesn't look like that ever. And I know a lot of you guys have voiced your opinion as well. A lot of you guys are photographers and said, listen, I take, you know, photos of trees, mountains, this, that. And you never take photos this crappy or they look this sad. I mean, this is really bad, right? I noticed this right here. I don't know if you guys have seen this too. It almost looks like a pipe right here. Sticking out of a larger hole on a square. You guys see that very, very faint? In fact, there's a line back here you can see. Almost looks like there's another square there. See that? We'll check this out. Let's see what we got. Yeah, guys, what's what's going on here? It's like it's on on top of a bigger square. See this? Literally goes back, goes across. Looks like you can see like a line doing a very faint line. Looks like a slotted area there. Again, this is rounded. And almost looks like there's something sticking out of the ground right there. We got something that's rounded or some kind of almost... What's the word I can use? Like Almost like it looks like a half pipe or something. I, I don't even know what to make of this. Notice how this rock does this. We have something that does this here. And you can just see it going like this. But notice there's one... Two, three, four, it might be five features coming down off of it. Right there. One, two, three, four. And the way it looks, almost like it's doing this. But it's in this kind of like half round or arch piece going like that. But this rock above it is what's really bizarre, right? Check this out. Really? Nature's not going to do that. <laughs> it's just simply not going to do that, folks. Again, here's the full enhanced. If you want, stop this. Look at it with your magnifiers right here. Pause it right here. Take a look. I'm going to take the sharpness out of it a little bit in case that, you know, messes with your eyes a little bit. Now pause it. Bounce over to the other side on the right. Do the same thing, guys. Check it out. Pause it right there. Have a look. There's so many unnatural things here, it's not even funny. Even if we were to say, listen, this stuff is resting on rocks or holes in this hillside. Okay, we can do that. That's, that's fine with me. But what we're seeing here, like these features right here, like look at this. And you've got this, what looks like this weird, whatever this is, this object. And all of these little things in here, the shapes and stuff that look like they go together and tied together somehow. Yeah. That's brought down and sharpened. So again, use your magnifiers. I'll back it out just a little bit and check that out. There you go. Guys, we've looked at a lot of these photos before, right? We've even done live gigapan searches on the Hangout. And every time we see something, there's always something hidden within a rock, sticking out of a rock. They try to blend it in to make it look like a rock. And maybe it is actually naturally encrusted because Gale Crater does, in fact, have a water cycle. And, of course, you could find dust floating around over a course of time. This could do that. We also have wind. So we have this constant, you know, blowing, maybe clearing off these rocks or these objects on the ground. Who knows? But whatever this stuff is, in my opinion, that is not natural.
Of course, you guys get the last word. Comment down below. Please like and share. It is always appreciated. You guys know that. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and let me know that you like the video. And this way here, YouTube will share it. And if you're watching the video and you're liking what you see, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell on the right hand side of that so you'll be alerted of any new videos coming out. Anyway, guys, again, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. With that, I'm going to let you go. Have yourself a great evening, great night, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace, guys.